That's how I feel today. So what? Got a different stereo. My other stereo crapped out. It doesn't turn on. Well, it like turns on, but it clicks and then nothing. But I thought I'd do a little update video. Um, things have been going shitty. So, as you can see, this side's empty again. Dwayne had to move out. Basically, John didn't like it. Messing up the furnaces. You didn't have any filtration and exhaust fan. And then Dwayne had to redo a couple jobs because he didn't have enough light and didn't have enough coverage. And it was just too crammed. He had to use my spot a couple times. And he was hoping I'd slow down so I could help him out and use the whole shop, but that wasn't working out. You know, he made the offer of swapping sides, but I can't work on that side. You know, and he'd pay $500 a month. <laughs> but I had some jobs, you know, freaking, I had one of my dad's, my parents' friends. Um. They brought a vehicle over for me to look at last Monday, and uh, he was supposed to just leave it here. He had a friend here to give him a ride back home. Gave him a price. It was a Jeep Commander. He wanted a gold detail plus shampoo on everything. Well, basically, I was giving him a free shampoo, and it was bad. And I told him $180. Well, then he left with the vehicle. He's like, yeah, I'll see you Wednesday. Well, then... Wednesday come and I waited until about 9.30 and I called him and he's like, oh, we changed our mind. You know, there was $180 I lost. And then I was supposed to do this job that, that week. This is a $95 job. And uh, they called to reschedule. So I already turned down a couple jobs. You know, or, you know, when people called and say, oh, I need to get in this day, you know, and, well, I can't, you know, I have this job to do, and then, you know, the day before I'm supposed to do this job, he calls, oh, yeah, we can't do it that day, you know, it's like, fudge. Uh, I did get lucky, and this, uh, repeat guy had, I did a van for him, and that was a hundred and well, I charged him 110, they gave me 130, so that was awesome. They gave me a 140 to give John, but I only got 35 bucks left in my account, and then I'll have the 95 from this. I was supposed to have a gold detail on a Dodge Dakota this Friday. He called me yesterday and rescheduled for December 6th now. That's a $180 job. So, you know, the 180 and 95 today, you know, give John another 140. I got a $94 electric bill and a 200 some dollar water bill to pay. John's wanting more money, of course. I'm, I owe him like 600 bucks now. You know, and I don't know if you guys follow along. I owed him up to, that was up to almost $2,500 in like May. Um, but I got caught up. But the drawback to that is I would put off my state sales tax, which I shouldn't have done, but God, you know, I didn't want to lose the shop. So they've been trying to get a hold of me, and I've been blowing them off, which is not a good thing, but God, I got freaking $35, you know. What am I going to do? You know, I got to call them and tell them, you know. Cause I owe like at least over a grand. I gotta go through my receipts and figure it out. But I don't know what to do. You know, I'm trying to rent out the other side now with 300 bucks a month. You know, and then plus electric, which Dwayne, you know, gave me 70 bucks. So you're looking at 370 a month. But, you know, if I get 300 well, then I only got to come up with 200 a month. So, uh, 
that would really help out. Um, but I can't find nobody, you know, it's just, oh yeah, freaking Tuesday, or was it Monday, a guy was supposed to come and look at the shop, he said he'd be here at 5 o'clock. I got here at 4 o'clock because the shop was kind of a mess and I wanted to clean up the floor and uh, squeegee and everything. And uh, he was supposed to be here at 5, I waited till 5.35, I texted him, you know, if you still come in to look at the shop. He's like, yeah, I got out of work late, will you be there in 20 minutes? I was like, yeah, I'll be here. Well, at 6.40, I texted him and said, I'm only going to be here till 7 o'clock, then I got to leave. And he never responded back or nothing, told me he wasn't going to make it. So I sat here, wasted two hours of my time, I could have been home. You know, making dinner, and then I got to go to my part-time job. You know, now it's, I got here at 9, it's 6.20. I'm just, I got a vacuum yet. They're picking it up at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I got a vacuum, I got to just clean the outside of the windshield. Tire dressing. What else? I'll um, put their stuff back in, personal stuff back in. So, thought I'd do a little update, uh, bum vi bummer video. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's just that time of year. I, I, I haven't even been getting any back, the free car wash cards. I, I, I mean, this box was full. I had 250 of them. I still got. I got that many left, and I haven't gotten any of those back. You know, these look pretty nice. Good for one free hand wash. Tells what's on, you know included. Blah blah. I do got a new website. Uh, www.briggsdetailing.com uh, through the yellow, yellow book, yellow pages, yellow book. I can't remember. I think it's, I don't know, it's through Haibu. Looking pretty nice. Got some changes to make on some of the pictures and that, but uh, a lot better than the stupid Insta page thing I had, but still, it's not really drawn any more business. I was busy uh, the whole month of October and then November it's been kind of slow. I mean there was some weeks I, I did $300 in sales or over $300 in sales. Uh, I did 205 one week, 235 one week. This was the job but it was 180 and 95 it was $275 I lost in sales. I had a $50 job, so I would have made $325 in one week. That would have been enough to pay my, you know, electric bill at least, and give John money, more money for rent. But I don't know what to do. I, I don't want to give up. You know, I, I called this uh, Abbey Vans. They have a bunch of. They're like a medical transport. You know, they got minivans, they transport people around. I called them, I called uh, another one, Tender Care Transport. You know, they got fleets, so, you know, I'm trying to, you know, push my car washes or get them washed and waxed. And they didn't really seem interested. They were like, yeah, we kind of got our own guys that wash them up, you know, when they're done with work or whatever. The drivers do it, so. I don't know. Uh, well, I had to buy a new shampooer. That's the, you know, really, I guess I could have just bought, if I could buy just this lower piece that goes in, but it's separated. So I bought this. This was uh, 90 bucks. I haven't got to try it yet. I was supposed to try it, do that Jeep Commander with it. And uh, that never showed up, never called me, so. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I did a wash and a wax, 50 bucks. Matt, my buddy Matt, uh, that was a sunroof job. And uh, uh, he left. He's out in Washington State now, uh, using his degree finally in forestry stuff, cutting trees down and stuff, so trimming trees and that. But yeah, that's the one that canceled, and then that the one I'm doing today, I would have finished the Jeep. And they were supposed to drop that off. And this was the guy that just called to reschedule the December 6th. He was supposed to drop it off that night. This is the one for today. The 20th today. You know, I... Oh, deer hunting's coming up, which I'm not even going this opening weekend because it's only going to be like 20 degrees and... Screw it. I don't have the money for a license. Well, Jess said she's got some money, tip money, that she'll buy my license for me. She knows I want to go. But, you know, then I got to come up with the gas to go, too, you know. Pickup's running okay. I got to give her an oil change still. <laughs> I don't know what else to talk about. It's just I think oh I think our house got struck by lightning. Friggin' both the GFI I think they're called outlets in the bathroom don't work at all. They won't reset. And it fried the TV and the DVD player in the bedroom downstairs. And uh, what else? I think that was it. So we don't know what the fuck happened there. I don't know. I guess that's it. You know, everybody else seems like they're doing pretty good. I know Street Rider, you've been not in the best of moods too. It's it's that time, like you said, it's that time of year. I think I started watching one of your videos, but then I had to stop. But you were driving and talking about this being a bad time of year and I, I I totally understand I'm going through the same thing with you um, it's nice when you know you're busy working and stuff it, it kind of helps get you out of the house Kevin showed up today for a while he was working on his car so I had, was able to visit with him and stuff so yeah Yeah. Yeah, this one I'm gonna start vacuuming so I can get out of here and then well, I gotta clean the front windshield. They think then I'll leave the the tire dressing for tomorrow morning. So Yep. Yeah, I haven't really been, you know, I don't know. If you guys are on Facebook, I have a Briggs detailing page. Uh, for my Facebook page, showing the jobs I've done here, re you know, I don't know, jobs I've done recently, I guess, I probably haven't videotaped, I got that bolt done, he was happy, that turned out nice, that was a pain to get in though, it just, she just barely rubbed on either side, but, got her done, did a few other jobs after that, so it's doing good there for a while, and she just, I hate it when I hit the wall, you know, I just start getting caught up, and bam, it just goes to crap, you know, it's just, you know, I don't know, uh, I guess that's it, I'm gonna go. Uh, thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And Lake Lakesider Ranch, thanks for commenting and checking in. I really appreciate that. So uh, everybody have a good one. <laughs>